Tor browser as I had done a video on previously to show people how to use it. Uh, it stands for the Onion Router. I'm not going to go over everything right now, but I'm going to show a normal web search is this. You connect directly to the website. There is no middleman. There is no middle protection layers. So between point A and point B, uh, anyone who's in between and wants to scrape that data can. So if you're on a public Wi-Fi network, you're going to have issues. On the other hand, DuckDuckGo's Onion website, which is, you can see right here, it is the address right under my cursor. Uh, you can see that the browser connects to France, which connects to Switzerland, that connects to Germany, and these are called relays. They can change. Tor Browser does all the work for you. It's all encrypted in the middle, so you don't have to worry about hackers getting into your um, search results. So it protects you by having extra layers, and you'll have to watch my Tor video in the video section if you want to know more about Tor, because this video is just about DuckDuckGo. I wanted to help promote it. Uh, so as you can see, here's another image of how it works connects to the entry, that connects to the relay, then the exit, and then finally the web search engine. So it has IP address privacy. Uh, of course it can help. Um, you don't have to share your location to the websites you visit. Uh, all of your search terms are completely anonymous in most cases unless you know, of course, you're doing something illegal, which you should not be using it for any illegal activity. That's not its intention. It's intended to help protect journalists, help protect activists, help protect police officers who are doing investigations. So Tor has a lot of uses. It was invented by the U.S. Navy. Uh, I do want to bring that part up. So it is a very legitimate browser. Um, but this this is about DuckDuckGo. So with public Wi-Fi, if you're using a search engine, uh, you have to worry about people and hackers sniffing your connection. Uh, I wrote this article a little while ago. Everyone uses public Wi-Fi at some point. Many take their laptop to Starbucks to get work done and check their emails. Now, in normal browsers, it's a huge security risk. As you can see, just A to B connection. There is no middle that protects you. As you can see, Tor has many middle connections, especially their dot .onion addresses. So anyone who's running a sniffer on that network can pick it up, and if, you, if they can break the SSL, uh, they can give you a false certificate. Uh, that's called a man-in-the-middle attack. Check my previous video on that. It was done this week. Uh, so if you use a standard browser, uh, hackers can sniff your connection, all your search terms, and your passwords. Uh, Tor will prevent this. It encrypts the browsing and it also uses several relays, which are the middle connections. But as I mentioned, Tor does all the work for you. You do not have to uh, do any individual connecting. You just type in your web address as normal, runs just like Firefox, looks just like Firefox. Uh, it prevents uh, ad tracking systems. Um, so it also helps with the Stingray surveillance which is something a lot of hackers and criminals are using right now. So you should be using Tor if you care about your privacy because Tor will protect you in ways that a standard web browser won't. And DuckDuckGo has a uh, Tor website and I will just go to that right now. So as you can see at the top of the page, that is the tour.onion web address. I'll also put it in the description. Uh, as you can see, DuckDuckGo works just like any other search engine. Uh, it actually gets same results as Google. So if you're on a public Wi-Fi network or have another reason you need to protect your privacy, uh, I highly suggest using Tor and DuckDuckGo's .onion address. As I mentioned, I'll put it in the video description. I wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, now I'm going to just pull up DuckDuckGoes.com. As you can see, it behaves the same. You know, you search the same, you get the same exact results. So, and you can turn safe search on and off. 
Uh, you can search for images. You can search for videos, which is mostly the YouTube directory. Um, you can search for news. So I wanted to bring this up because DuckDuckGo is one search engine I highly recommend. Uh, it's great for privacy, uh, especially if you're on a public Wi-Fi network. So I did want to show you guys that. Um, as I mentioned, it connects to several relays in between, so there is no direct connection on .onion addresses. Uh, there are many Onion websites, otherwise known in some circles as the dark web. Um, there's nothing dark about it as long as you're not doing anything illegal, which you should not be doing, because if you're doing something illegal, you will be in trouble. <laughs> I do not recommend any of that. Uh, this is just to help people get started with their privacy. Uh, it's a recommendation to check out DuckDuckGo. Uh, and that's all I got on it. So if you want to protect yourself from the middleman hackers that are out there, the sniffers, and all of the other problems that we encounter when we use public wireless access networks, like, say, a Starbucks Wi-Fi or, you know, your Wi-Fi at your work, um, you don't want, you know, your boss to know what, you know, you're browsing at work <laughs> when you're on the clock. So this is just a great option for you. So I wanted to introduce it. I'm going to put the uh, addresses in the description, both the .com address and the .onion address for those who do have Tor Browser. Uh, that's all I have on DuckDuckGo. I wanted to make this video as a short recommendation. I hope you liked the video. Please like it, share it, subscribe, and I will be back later with more on how you can protect your privacy.